I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist. That's not my identification. I'm not a Christian. That's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the Autonomy Party the political party I have. And this represents my view since I am a member of the Autonomy Party, a founder, in fact. And thus, the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does. And this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion in alcohol or 100% for it and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast, a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. The following is from section 6 of my book, Evil, The Impact of Alcohol and the Power of the Alcohol Industry. Part A is from the section called Fighting Back. Section 6. Part A. Sleep out for the prohibition of alcohol. For the event, sleep out for the homeless in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. A group slept outside during a couple winter nights to promote awareness of homelessness. The idea of sleeping outside for a cause inspired me. Thus, I decided it would be cool to create a spin-off event called Sleep Out for the Prohibition of Alcohol. I knew the Sleep Out for the Homeless Group attained the city's approval. Thus, I decided to write a request to the Public Protection Committee to use the public sidewalk in front of Shopco in Stevens Point. The sidewalk by Shopco is very near the square, a big bar area. The Public Protection Committee placed this matter on its agenda but I could not attend the meeting because of a class. Others told me what happened. The committee member said I did not need permission because the sidewalk was public property. Fair enough. I also asked for extra police protection because I knew the event was controversial and one cannot trust drunks. I was also informed that my request for extra police protection was turned down. One person told me that the committee thought I was asking for trouble by doing the sleep out there. By existing, the taverns are the ones asking for trouble. Let us put this city's action in perspective by contrasting it to another situation. Probably the first major protest I ever attended was an anti clan protest in Rockford, Illinois when I was 14 or 15 years old. People were protesting a Klan assembly. There were tons of protesters and also tons of police. As one person wittily quipped, I'm going to rob a bank today. All the cops are here. Thus we can see that the cops will protect the Klan, but they are not going to protect me. Screw them then. I am awfully proud of myself for sleeping outside one night in the cold during March 2002 for a wonderful cause. I am so glad this event occurred. Prohibition Camp Part B In 2001, Peace Next camped out on the UW Stevens Point campus for an event called Peace Camp. Thus, I was inspired to camp out at UW Stevens Point for what I call Prohibition Camp to express support for the prohibition of alcohol. I faced some obstacles. One campus security officer questioned me even though I had the right to be there, but fortunately, he eventually left me alone. Some intoxicated hoodlums grabbed some of my belongings and tossed them in the bushes. The belongings became waterlogged because of the rain. It is horrible that drunks cannot act like normal people 
and respect the personal property of the innocent. Part C, Infotainment's Third Party Day. Infotainment.com conceived an event called Third Party Day to advance and celebrate political third parties. Since third parties rock my world, I was inspired to participate. Thus, one day during 2002, the Autonomy Party sponsored a sleepout which took place on the sidewalk near downtown Shop Cone, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. It was a delightful day. The weather was beautiful and the foam pad that I slept on was very comfortable. To celebrate the Autonomy Party, a leading prohibitionist party distributed free bananas, but these bananas were not available to just anyone. Only sober people were allowed to eat our bananas. Unfortunately, I had to contend with uncivilized drunks. One inebriated woman poured liquor on my leg. Nasty. One drunk tried to mess with my bike, but I frightened him away. Another drunk violated my personal space by grabbing me and my foam pad. Part D. Alcohol Causes Riots To protest alcohol's role in Mankato's October 4, 2003 riot, one day at a fairly busy intersection, I held up a sign which said, Alcohol Causes Riots. A nice three-letter, three-word sign, just like many of the Phelps signs. I expected negative and hostile reactions, but instead the reactions were generally favorable. Lots of people supported my message. Could this be a sign that the public, in its hearts of hearts, knows that alcohol is trouble? My hope is that those who understand the true nature of alcohol will be galvanized into action. Alcohol was this riot's fuel, thus more people should be speaking out. Build libraries, shut down taverns. One of my favorite places on earth is a library. I absolutely adore libraries. Libraries are joy and fulfillment. It is great to kill two birds with one stone. Thus it is wonderful to promote joyous libraries while at the same time oppose decadent taverns. One autonomy party position paper is dedicated to the idea that instead of building new taverns, we should build more libraries. The autonomy party is probably the most pro-library political party in existence. To spread this message in a spectacular way, the autonomy party had a sticker company printed stickers which say, Build libraries, shut down taverns. We give them out for free. You should definitely request one. 